My film is called Lucky Day. It's an 11 minute 35 mil film made in South Africa. It's about a, a young man out of work who goes to the side of the road every day. He goes there to beg for work. And uh, the day that we meet him, he's at the side of the road begging for work with a friend of his. And um, it's like any other day, he's picked up by a man in a small truck, a bucky, and he's uh, taken off. He doesn't know where he's going, but it's a it's not a situation he can control. He's um, desperate, he needs work, he needs money. Um, he ends up being taken out of town to this farm in the middle of nowhere by a white farmer. Um, and the white farmer starts doing strange things, offering him food, being nice to him, um, asking him questions, asking him what he thinks, which is very unusual for a situation like this. And gradually as the film goes on, it gets more and more unusual and you realize something has gone wrong. And eventually by the end of the film, uh, the young man who was out of work has ended up digging a grave and on one side of the grave is a white farmer and the other side of the grave is um, a man, a black man out of work. Um, and the farmer looks angry and at the end of the film, the farmer shoots himself and the black man goes back and speaks to a friend of his and he's made more money because the farmer's given him more money than usual. And his friend asks, what sort of a day did you have? And he said, and um, the friend said, how much did you make? And he tells him what he made, which is twice what he normally makes. And he said, well, you've had a lucky day. That's the film. So um, in terms of cinema in South Africa and, and maybe my attitude to it, um, it's a bit of a contradiction. It's, it's quite easy to make a certain type of film in South Africa. There's a certain amount of money. You can make programs for television, but on the other hand, it's very difficult to get enough money to make a decent film, to make a feature documentary or to make a, a quality feature film. Um, it's quite difficult to raise enough money. Um, so it is a contradiction, and, and a lot of the films that are made are more for a television audience. They, they don't last, they, they put on television, they're never shown again, and a lot of energy and activity is around making these programs rather than around making stories, whether they be short, medium, or long, that endure, that are um, quality films that, uh, that might be seen by a broad audience uh, in Africa and, and, and in the rest of the world. I'm Brian Tilley. I'm from South Africa. I grew up in Johannesburg. The biggest, wildest, um, most treacherous uh, city in Southern Africa, but the best place to live, I think. Um, it's influenced uh, uh, a lot of how I think, a lot of what I do. I studied literature and theater um, and started working at the Market Theater in the early 80s um, with an idea that I would write and direct plays. But at the same time in the country, our country was going through an in incredible crisis and there were uprisings all around the country. So I find myself taking a diversion and, and starting to work in mainly documentary film with a small group of friends. We made um, oppositional videos and films for 14 years um, in the townships, in the industrial areas, documenting the struggles that were taking place in South Africa. Um, it was a period of my life that was very intense. Uh, we made a lot of films, some of them not so good, but all are very much a document of the times. After that, I almost returned to my roots, um, started to write for uh, drama series and fiction films and now I work both in fiction and in documentary depending where I can find the money um, and uh, yeah that's what I do.